Hi, I'm Paul David Eskew, a CEO at Tangu. We focus specifically on hospitality and restaurant marketing. We do it through primarily social media management and the influencer-driven marketing. Uh, our company started right inside the Asadi School of Business classroom in 2010. I went to Asadi and before I arrived, I'd been told by past students that there was this magical brand management class where it was a little bit of theory and the rest was completely hands-on. You were putting a brand into action in Barcelona for four months. And I remember being so excited just hearing about that idea. Problem was is that I, I didn't get into the class because it, it filled up like seconds before I could sign up. So I mean, when they give you 500 euros to make a brand and then put that brand into action, bring it to life, I mean, what's not to get excited about that? That's amazing. So I remember that after a ton of emails and a lot of follow-ups, they finally got me into the class. And just in the first week alone, I learned a really important lesson that I think still holds true. When you build a brand, the product and the services, they'll, they'll always follow the brand. And, and at first, I wasn't sure. Do you, you have 500 euros, do you start, you start a t-shirt company, then slap on a logo and do something creative? Or do you think of a greater mission? Something that, uh, a big mission way beyond uh, the budget of what you were given, but something you really want to solve. And then once you have that mission, can you then use a product to solve it? And I guess the combination of sitting with people, being present with them, having the food and the drinks kind of loosen you up and have you really relaxed and really creative. I think that was a perfect storm for creating um, what Tangu uh, started to be. And, and basically we, we came across the concept of of tango, which is it's, it's a metaphor for a tango dance. It's that idea of returning to those intimate moments that we all know existed uh, before technology took over, where you're not half on your phone and half talking to someone. You're like dancing with them. Your phone's here, and the food and the environment that you're in has pushed you into this kind of present mode. And like a tango dance, you're just you're making eye contact, you're communicating, you're present, you're meeting halfway, you're really compromising. And once everything is in sync, you're moving with the people that you're with. And what I mean by moving is you're communicating about things that build a good, a genuine relationship. Uh, if you're exchanging ideas like we were in all those late Barcelona nights, uh, we were all kind of sparking ideas that um, came from us being the same state of mind and being very present. And that was the perfect formula for us to think of our idea. So that was our concept. And now the hard part was, how do we actually turn that into a product when we only have 500 euros? And what we settled on was a watch and a bracelet. Uh, it was gifting a watch uh, to someone who you value tangoing with, someone who with your very valuable time and limited time with them, you want to be completely present with them. And the way it would work is that you would gift it to them, a loved one or a parent or someone that you, again, you really value, and you would actually keep part of that, um, part of that gift. And it was actually this, um, this tango wristband right here, which uh, I still wear today. But once you give it to them, this was a reminder and a bond of infinite connection and for both of you to be present about the fact that life is about being engaged with each other and life is about tangoing with people you care about. Uh, that was the way we, again, kind of found the midpoint between uh, our big concept and our product. And I remember uh, it was also a time that, you know, being in Barcelona, I grew a lot as a person, uh, lots of empowerment, lots of personal fulfillment. And I think the combination of being uh, part of such a creative and hands-on project at Asade and also going through the men's personal growth and also being part of the Spanish way of thinking around really enjoying life and being present with people, uh, that again was that perfect storm to spark this idea of Tangu. Shortly after I got back into the groove of things in Vancouver, People had sort of heard about my trips to Barcelona. That, I guess, caused a bit of a buzz amongst a few people who wanted to start to work with me. They, they threw an opportunity my way and they wanted me to help build more culture and fun in Vancouver. Uh, and the way they saw it, and which I saw very quickly, was how do we create more events between people? How do we get people together uh, experiencing their city? Because there aren't as many options in Vancouver as Barcelona. Not everyone gets that luxury. So it was a challenge that I was definitely intrigued with. Quite quickly, I started to see a very profound connection between what Tangu stood for in Barcelona. Here it was gonna be around events. It was around getting people around a dinner table to break bread. 
So this was the moment where I realized that uh, Tengu hadn't died. Now it was manifesting itself into a new skin. Uh, this is when I realized that um, restaurants were going to be a key part in, in, in propelling the mission of making people tango with each other. Uh, because restaurants, again, that's where you break bread, that's where you're present. And now we're going to find a way to have people find the right restaurant, find the right experience to help them tango with each other. And I was super excited to be bring this whole concept back. And, and then off we went. We started kind of taking our first steps as a restaurant marketing company with that moral compass, with that sort of North Star helping restaurants uh, connect with their consumers so that consumers can find time to connect and tangle with each other. The journey has been anywhere from an event company over to being an app and all the way to where we are today and that's as a digital marketing company using social networks, using this, this concept of connection but doing it in a way that gets people offline and connecting with each other. So uh, it was really cool to see how that thing we learned in class about building a brand and the rest following I mean, this transcended across different parts of the world and across different people. So that was a shock to me. Uh, but looking back, you can sort of see things in 2020 and we never, we haven't changed our mission. It's about connecting people and, and doing it in a way that makes them present with each other around an experience that really makes it easy to uh, not just be uh, cooped up in your phone.